Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, today I'm making a video that I really don't want to make, but a lot of people have been sending me emails because somebody did a review on the Hydrofix and unfortunately they just did a lot of things wrong. And you know guys, I'm going to show you guys actually how to measure the hydrogen gas and the water properly. I've been invited to Japan and I'm going to make a big effort guys to go over there and really show you how it's done properly so people can actually see how it's done correctly by the number one company in the world who has the proper technology to do things correctly. But before I move on, let me just explain on that video some of the misinformation that is being shown. Like this guy is trying to show how to measure the hydrogen gas but he left the hydrogen catcher in the device. That was a big mistake. He obviously didn't read the owner's manual. He doesn't really understand this device. And unfortunately, when I watched the way that he did it, he really just lost all credibility in my book. And he shows a lot of his ignorance in regards to how to work with hydrogen because first, he uses the improper equipment, first of all. With the hydrogen catcher in place, he still uh, measured around 42 milliliters of hydrogen gas per minute, which was pretty remarkable considering the catcher was there. But then he goes a step further and he actually takes the catcher out because somebody pointed out to him that he was doing it wrong. So he takes the catcher out and then he uses a method which is kind of ridiculous where do it, at, you know, do it yourself at home in your garage how to measure hydrogen gas, which by the way, guys, hydrogen gas is incredibly difficult to measure properly. Even the number one company in the world that makes this Hydrofix, even they don't own the proper equipment because it's way too expensive and the calibration that it needs to be precise. The precision involved is so high that they actually have to rent the equipment, which is very specialized to do it correctly. And this guy's trying to show you how to do it with a five cent plastic bottle. And what's even crazier is then he ends up getting a lower number after he took the hydrogen catcher out, which is basically impossible. And all he's doing, I can't believe he's putting himself on camera doing this because he's literally blatantly showing his ignorance on the subject. And to me, it's really quite sad, actually, more than anything, because look, guys, I make my videos so that you guys will have the proper information about hydrogen, because I realize that there's so much misinformation out there. And I do this because, guys, I was ill myself, and I had to learn a lot about this subject. And I don't want to spread misinformation about hydrogen, because I know that these Chinese products, I know that these Korean products, I've learned throughout the years, the lack of technology can cause more harm than good. So when somebody, and obviously I know he owns a hydrogen company, and I know he carries these Chinese products, and maybe, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or not, what it is that he's doing, and he's probably threatened by the device, and he talks about how expensive it is. Now guys, the honest truth is, is you get what you pay for. Unfortunately, it's expensive to make this correctly and safely. And the reason it makes me sad is because one of the guys involved in the project for the Hydrofix, this guy had a sick daughter and he wanted to make the best hydrogen machine in the world. And he had to do it all in Japan. It cost him more money. It took so much work. And for some guy in his garage, to just start bashing it and, and doing everything, measuring it incorrectly, it's just such a slap in the face to when the Japanese were trying to do something honorable and something right and really trying to help people. I've seen the difference between using a proper device and the wrong equipment. Even myself, as I've been learning, when I finally got on the Hydrofix, that's when my heart condition actually went away. I've known other people who have used it and there's the same type of heart condition, theirs went away also, and all sorts of other benefits when using the proper equipment. They really went above and beyond here. So when somebody again is bashing the product or trying to make it look bad, when they're completely doing everything incorrectly, it, it actually hurts and I'm not even the creator of this, de of this device. And so, it, you know, this machine was inspired from illness, guys. Even me, my illness inspired me to learn about hydrogen and it led me to Japan. Japan has the number one technology when it comes to hydrogen, guys. They have so much more knowledge on the subject. I mean, there's a reason they use this device in medical clinics. So somebody out there is saying their Chinese garbage is better than this premium device is just... It's it's mind boggling that somebody would do such a thing and to call this company a liar when they've done everything that they've could to measure everything properly. I just think it's really, really sad, actually, which is the reason that I'm making this video. And so just to even touch on some more stuff like this is kind of a weird thing, but like I've had some of these companies, especially these Chinese companies, contact me and they want me to start a business. You know, I didn't really want to get involved in the business side of things, especially with Chinese devices, because I, I wouldn't feel right in my heart to sell something that I know is going to cause people harm and tell them it's for their health. So the thing is, is that they, you know, they show me like price charts, they send them to me to my email. And they're like, look, you can get this device for 20 bucks and you can sell it for 200 bucks, 
or you can get this device for 300 bucks and sell it for $3,000. And there is a lot of money to be made and that's probably the driving force behind all this when somebody owns a company that has all these type of devices. And again, they're threatened by it. And it's funny because I've seen people bash, I don't know what, you know, I've, I haven't seen any device be bashed as much as the Hydrofix. So maybe that right there tells us something. They're obviously threatened by it. And again, that also makes me sad, but again, it's probably letting us know that there's a reason that they're threatened about it. And every one of these devices is actually tested before they ever get sent out. Whereas, you know, these other devices from other countries, they just, they're slapped together, they're sent, nobody tests every piece of equipment. So when they're trying to do and go above and beyond of what anybody else is doing, and then people start bad-mouthing them, man, it hurts, it hurts a lot. And it's very, very sad, and I know that's the, the world that we live in, but you know, and it's not even my job, guys. This I, I do this because I wanna share with you guys the proper information so you'll get the proper results based on all the knowledge and all the research that I've done. And so people thinking that they have better technology in their main brains or their metals, better than Japan from China, I mean, guys, you know, you have to test for actually the quality of metals. You have to understand that there are certain grades of metal and the proper metal that was used for this device and comparing it to something from China out of a couple hundred dollar product, it, it's you can't even compare it. And, and so to even try, again, it, it's just a little silly to say that you have better technology than the number one Japanese hydrogen company in the world. The whole thing is really, really silly. But I am gonna make a video showing how to do it properly. I am gonna make a lot of effort to go over there and take time off of my job to go do this for you guys, even though this is not my work, but I, I'm so passionate about it and it's so important that people know how to do it properly. And I, and I gotta let you guys know, I'm not gonna make these videos forever about hydrogen. I've only been doing it because I see a need. I see so much misinformation and I see that people don't really know how to give the proper information. And I want people to truly get better and change their lives the way that hydrogen has really helped change mine. But hopefully at some point, somebody else will carry the torch, start releasing the proper information, and then I won't actually have to do these videos any longer. But I gotta tell you guys, to measure hydrogen gas, incredibly tricky. And if you guys, you know, if people out there are like, no, I still wanna get the, the, the cheaper products, honestly guys, go ahead. You know, it, it's your life, you can do whatever you want. That's not why I make my videos. It makes no difference to me. I just wanna show people how to do it properly so they can actually get the proper results. That's all I'm trying to do here and the safety of it when it comes to hydrogen is actually incredibly important. And I really do my best to bring you guys the proper information. I really go above and beyond to just really try to bring you guys accurate information. And so when people you know, give the wrong information, again, it's just, it's really, really actually frustrating when I go through so much to bring you guys good information. So ultimately guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to really share with you guys. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and I hope it answered people's questions for all those people who send me emails about this, unfortunately not so great review about the product and not understanding how to do things properly. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to support the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because I'm gonna bring you guys again more videos and I'm gonna put a link down below on how to measure hydrogen gas in the water correctly. And then in the future, I'm gonna bring you a video on how to measure the hydrogen, just the gas for inhalation, how to do that properly also. So that way you guys can see the right way to do it and then you can judge for yourselves. So thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Thanks for watching.